welcome everyone so today we're going to solve a very nice problem trust me this problem could have been done very very easily and and this is a kind of question which normally appears in entrances like cat gmat ip mat you know all of that okay and trust me yes lot of people messed up because there was too much of information so maybe during the exam pressure people mess up or people don't understand how to you know segregate these kind of information so let's quickly understand how do we do these kind of sums so in this kind of a scenario you should first write, keep noting down whatever is given to you so we have average of three positive numbers which is a b and c is equals to three or is equals to d sorry so we have a plus b plus c now please understand average of any kind is nothing but what sum of all the numbers and you will divide it by the total elements given so we have what how many elements one two and three so you will divide by three equals to d okay so from here i can say a plus b plus c equals to three d right now they have said average of a and d is equals to another integer so a plus d upon two equals to e so basically i can say a plus d equals to 2e okay now they have said a plus c average is nothing but what 5 plus the value of e so here i can say a plus c equals to 10 plus 2e okay and we need to find what is the difference between sorry difference between this was d not b okay so difference between d minus a plus b upon 2 this is what they want to find okay so from these two sentence sent, uh, statements i can say the value of 2e can be written as what a plus d so i can write a plus c equals to 10 plus a plus d okay so we can take the a on the other side so it will get subtracted so i will have c equals to 10 plus d and here let's put this value of c over here so i will have a plus b plus instead of c i can write this as what 10 plus d equals to 3d okay let's take the d on this side so i have a plus b plus 10 equals to 2d okay now let's take the a plus b also on the other side okay so what we will have over here is 10 is equals to d sorry not d it is 2d equals to 2d minus a minus b now i wanted a plus b okay so what we will have 10 equals to 2d minus a plus b i can do that right i can take the minus out and i want just d and a plus b divided by 2 so in this kind of a scenario what i can do is i'm continuing it here i can say that dividing both sides by 2 so 10 divided by 2 is 5 equals to d minus a plus b upon 2 right and here we got the answer or we got the value of d minus a plus b which is nothing but what 5 so you saw how easily you could do see while explaining it takes a lot of time for me to do these kind of sum but if you have practiced these kind of topics you should have been able to come to this particular uh, equations literally in matter of seconds and then rest of it is complete working. So I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.